Some shows send their contestants to the most beautiful and isolated islands in the world to compete for the grand prize. Well, fuck that. We're holding our contestants hostage in the dirtiest city in America, forcing them to stay at work 24-7 for a week straight, surrounded by their co-workers morning, noon, and night. Our office is filled with rats and garbage, loaded with idiots and assholes, and these idiots who agreed to compete can't leave until they're voted off. Let's meet the bloggers. I'm definitely the new girl at Barstool. I want to take this opportunity for people to get to know me and see that I'm not like some stupid drunk bitch. $10,000 is $10,000. Everybody can use an extra $10,000. If I don't leave this shithole city with $10,000 in my pocket, I'll be very unhappy. It's very easy to survive a week in the office. It's not easy to survive living amongst conniving people that don't want you to win. I'm hyper competitive, so money plus competition, why the fuck not? I gave 49 no's, then on the 50th one I, I broke, I was just like, alright, fuck it. Why I said yes to this bullshit, I don't fucking know. I didn't actually agree to this in the right state of mind, I was uh, overserved on some wine. Normally I would never say yes to something like this. My strategy is make people too guilty to vote me off. I have a fake sob story, my cousin named Rusty ironically got tetanus. This is my dream. My dream since I was four years old has been to win a show like this. I'm gonna make sure I make that happen. Welcome to the first ever edition of Surviving Barstool. It's eight bloggers, seven nights, one winner for $10,000 for the first ever edition of Surviving Barstool presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. As you know, Surviving Barstool is a game of twists and turns and surprises. And so uh, for our first curveball of the week, I would like to introduce to you Luggage Guy Trent. You might know him from another reality series of The Bachelor, but he's joining us here on Surviving Barstool. Does anybody have an idea why Luggage Guy Trent would be here? When he's coming around and when he's wearing that uniform, he's here to take luggage. So I saw him and I knew the luggage was getting taken. I was so upset. I was the least concerned because I'm not really a material guy. I wear the same fucking clothes every day. I might as well be a cartoon character. Yeah, and I was the only one that followed the rules. So I had one bag, so I'm like missing a towel. I'll just air dry. Not a big deal. All right, so let's get started. Uh, start building your shelters, start with your alliances, start thinking about who you're gonna vote for. Head on over to the bar for the New Amsterdam uh, brunch and let the games begin. When Kevin said, let the games begin, I'm the only one who took that seriously. Everybody else already started drinking, partying, having a good time. I immediately started looking around the feast for an advantage. You know, every time, I was, I was flipping the pancakes up. I was looking underneath every single plate. Eventually, you know, I finally, I'm stirring my, my vodka, my drink I just made, and I see in little, where all the utensils are with the fork and knife, I see a little brown uh, thing, which I pulled out. I don't want to pull it out too much, but I got it right here. I want to walk by, go to the bathroom and see it. But the, the point of the clue is goat. You know, you're not, goat's not on the menu tonight, uh, but it will help you in your stay. All capital letters, which makes me think goat. I don't think we have any just straight up goat things here. So that's making me think Tom Brady, the greatest of all time. The biggest thing was finding that clue. Once I knew I had that, I knew I had a huge leg up on these idiots. I was running circles around them from the get go. And I knew I have to spend the rest of the day looking for what's next. Honestly, I think I might trust Trista the most. And I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out a way to put it into words. White Sox Dave's a wild card. I think he's playing nice, but he really wants to get rid of me. He said before the show started that I was the first person on his list that he wanted to knock off. Hey, nothing to see here. She's trying to get in cahoots with someone right now. So I'm gonna go follow them. Now all of a sudden he's flirty flirty. He's sitting next to me in the gambling cave. Is, is he trying to snake me? That's all that I can think about because you don't change your mind so vastly in the matter of 48 hours, do you? I have no preconceived notions about what this is gonna be. The only preconceived notion I have is I, I believe that everyone wants me out right away. That's what I believe. And I think you are to blame for that. Why am I to blame for that though? Because you went on the radio, you're like, I want to get her out right away. Well, because that's before. That's me. what. I, that's what I was getting at with myself is that, like, people want you out, which makes it easy for you to stick around because you're like fresh meat, you know. When there's money, a sizable amount on the line, you got to push all of your moral fibers aside and just say, fuck these people. 
White Sox Dave, when he first came in, he uh, making everybody drinks, talking to everybody, picking their brains, just a happy-go-lucky guy. And then he put on that cowboy hat, and he started going by cowboy. Things weren't normal then, uh, but they were at least tolerable. White Sox Dave is a sleepwalker, big time. 4.03 in the morning, I get a call. Well, first of all, I had a missed call, but I have a call from a 312 number, Illinois, Dave. White Sox Dave. I, I had a little sleepwalking episode. Just something that happens here and there. It happened last night. I woke up and came to in the hallway, and I'm like, why am I out here? And thankfully, I grabbed my phone. Can't go anywhere without that, I guess. And Donnie didn't answer. Nick did. He was delirious. I don't hardly remember it. And then, like, all of a sudden, I'm like, Do you I think came you to went it. outside? Okay. And he said, Dude, I just went out to the sidewalk to take a fucking piss. And I came to, and I'm halfway across the city. And I look down, and he's shoeless, and his feet are disgustingly filthy. Slept walked, it's just something that happens. I'm not embarrassed about it. I can't control it, it just happens. It's like, whatever. I still think Dave is a good guy, maybe just a little misunderstood. Um, he needs to take off that fucking cowboy hat. Hey. Actually slept really well. Um, everybody else scrambled to make just very uncomfortable sleep setups. I just slept on the couch in the PMT studio, so I got a pretty solid like seven hours. Yeah, so I found the first clue with the merge, um, just knew it would be there. Second clue was goat related. My first thought were the Tom Brady pictures by the rundown said it wasn't there. There's a, a clear eyes Tom Brady can't lose picture in, in the bathroom hallway. It was under that, but there was one of Brady and Belichick was under that. I ripped it off by accident. It's now just completely off and I threw it in the game time room because I didn't want anyone to see me putting it back on. Um, and then from there, it was the clue. It was like, you know, something, you know, it's all piled. It may have been piled up, but like to get a slice of this protection, you need to find this, it's a big one or something. I'm just doing a lap around the office, looking at everything, and I see the car wreck from our NASCAR car. Pile up, slice, it was a one bike car, big one, it's a big piece, obviously, of a car, and it was like ding, 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 ding. Um, so I called the camera over, grabbed the bottle uh, from behind it, and nobody was the wiser. So I found the nav safety idol, and that's a huge piece of power in this game. The note tells me that I can use this through the vote at final five, and basically I can use this to protect myself at the vote. I can use it after everybody votes, but before Kevin reads the vote. So it'll take some strategy of when do I want to play this, but this is huge. It's so important that this is in my hands and nobody else's. Knowledge is power in this game. Nobody else knows about this and nobody else will. I have absolutely no clue what the challenges are gonna be, and I'm so tired, and I feel sick from sleeping here, so I, I hope I do well, I don't know. I'm completely open-minded about the first challenge. I don't know if it's gonna be physical, mental, strategic. I'm probably not well prepared for either category. We have a hint about tonight's challenge, or today's challenge. Tonight's vote will drown someone's $10,000 chance. I can't But a swim. successful swim will guarantee you to be safe from the- Where the fuck are we swimming in this office? I'm not, I can't Tonight's swim. vote will drown someone's $10,000 chance, but a successful swim will guarantee you to be safe from the vote. It came with two of these. Um, well, Tommy's the only one here who can't swim. Yeah. You can't so, swim? No. <laughs> I look like a I'm not swimmer. a great swimmer. You just like my breathing is not. No great. Way we're actually I'm worried about how good the vibes are still. The vibes are still very good, which means it's like when you're in the calm water and Jaws is like boom, 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 and like if you don't see the shark, you're the one that ends up getting eaten first. I feel like that's me. Welcome to the first challenge of Surviving Barstool, presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Today we are bobbing for nips. Each contestant will have at least five New Amsterdam Vodka nips to bob for. The twist, however, is that each contestant will have three additional nips where they can place in a bucket of their choosing. They can spread them out, they can pile them on, they can gang up on somebody, 
however they wish, they can make it that much harder to complete the nips. The uh, first person to bob for all of the nips out of their bucket will be today's winner. Do you guys want to know what you're playing for? Yes. The winner of today's challenge will get a one night stay in the wonderful New Amsterdam Vodka Lounge. You will have access to your bag, you will have a nice shower, you will have clothes, a change of clothes, uh, bedding, and everything that you didn't have on night one. As well as the New Amsterdam necklace, meaning you cannot be voted off. All right, Zah, come up and collect your three extra New Amsterdam nips. Uh, we'll go one at a time around the circle, so you can continually load up on someone one, one per, per round. This is the first time a surviving horse oh, you're gonna try to fuck somebody over. Oh, Who's it gonna day. be? Trista, you're gonna keep you gonna hold here? breaking the mold. Hmm. Oh! Yes. Spice. Go on Zah, but Zah, if I win, I'm gonna pick you to also access. And the alliances begin. Yeah. Strike back. Oh. Oof. Whoa, oh, yo, you gotta get to take yours back. Ow, breaking the rules again. Sorry, Zah, I mean, you're not gonna win anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm giving it back to you, because you give it back to me. I would love over the kill shot, right? Oh! <laughs> Hero. All right, let's go around the circle here. Everybody sound off how many nips they have to bob for. We'll start with you, Zaha. 15, 15, 3X. Uh, six nips, like a, like a cat. Eight. Seven. Six. Ten. Seven. Five. All right, the twist here is that you're gonna be blindfolded. So pull your buffs down over your eyes. You also cannot use your hands. Simply bobbing. Show me what that mouth do. Count down. Three, two, one, go. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck are they? Ellie got one. The first out. Cowboy is digging in like a dirty pig. Like a dirty pig in a trough. Show Cowboy, go. Zah, I can't believe he's even trying. I hate this so much. This is like legit torture. Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, I... White Sox Dave is doing headstands in his bucket. Cowboy is going all out here. Donnie got the plumber's crack out and he's going hard. <laughs> Kelly, you got two left, Kelly. Okay. What the fuck? How are you Why doing that? Why is it so hard? What the fuck? I think it's one. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, <laughs> uh, uh, Krista, keep it moving, girl. All right. Considering everybody else is struggling. Is she done? Can we She's stop? done. Trista has won. Are we all done? Stop! That's it. Trista has won. <laughs> Bobbing for oh, next. Zah. That was so hard. I have one left. That was like. I'm gonna blow my brains out. <laughs> that's Donnie's whole asshole. Holy shit. I could not find him. We're done. Donnie, you're, we're, we're done, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the winner of the first surviving Barstool Challenge presented by New Amsterdam Vodka, Bobbing for Nips. It's Trista. Trista. Trista, you had several to get. You had a lot more. You had the second most, I think. And you uh, handily won this. Yeah, I, I said, show me what that mouth do. You did it, girl. So. Uh, Kelly, Kelly was close. You had one left. That sucks. Really Once sucks. I heard one, it was like, yeah. I got it figured out. I just started putting my mouth in, in the water and just ducking around. You get to pick uh, one other blogger to stay with you in the lounge tonight. Guessing it's not gonna be Kelly, <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> a lot of deliberation here. You get your clothes, you get your bedding, you get a shower, you get to lounge, you get to refresh. So who's it gonna be? 
Talk me through it. What are you thinking? A lot of thoughts are going through my head. I mean, I can't blame you. You were just trying to mess with the flow. It's true. It's true. Play and the I'm game. I'm a vindictive bitch, so I just wanted to give you all the bottles at that point. That's how you play. I'm down for a truce. You down wow. for a truce? I am down for a truce Let's for this go. overnight situation. Wow. Absolutely, I am down. <laughs> Trista. Fuck right. Absolutely. Let's do it. Truce yes. has been called. Yes. Kelly <laughs> King is spending the night with Trista in the New Amsterdam lounge. Trista will be safe. The rest of you are subject to being voted off. You've got a long night ahead of you. Trista, nothing to worry about. Go chill. Hang out. Do what you do. The rest of you, start thinking about who you're going to vote for. Start thinking about the alliances you want to form. Who you want to stab in the back. <laughs> Go ahead, get out of here. I like am laughing out loud because she really did need to win the challenge. Like there was a point where they were asking, like, does anybody here feel like they need to win? Trista needed to win. We were voting her out. Like that's just a fact. And she, I think, knew that too and won that fucking game. And so I respect that. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you, cheers to me. Cheers to a, an all-girl alliance. Mm -hmm. Trying to take this thing, I don't, you know, want to be good. Just try to get it all the way through. We'll see what happens at the end. I think uh, Kelly knew, and I think Brianna knew, I'm trying to form an alliance with them. Nothing says alliance more, more, li more than, let's have a truce after you try to fuck me. So, one, I don't want to stay in the New Amsterdam lounge with White Sox Dave. That man sleepwalks, and he sleeps in his underwear. Do you think I'm going to stay with you in the lounge? You are absurd. And also, that's a bridge. That's a bridge to Kelly, that's a bridge to Brianna. Here it is. I'm gonna keep winning these. I can't believe she won. I got four of my eight out, she had all ten out. So What the fuck, she had to have cheated or something. I'm offended, I'm personally offended. The moment I, I can't obviously tonight, but the moment I have a shot to vote her out, she's gone. Uh, who am I gonna vote for? It's still up in the air. I'm looking at possibly White Sox Dave. I'm thinking about voting for White Sox Dave. I had one, one combo where it seemed like people were in agreement to vote for Dave. We gotta get rid of who we wanna get rid of and um, sadly I think it's Dave. Yeah, it's probably gonna be Dave and I think everybody's like on the same page. Everybody seems to be on board with it. I don't know who White Sox Dave thinks we're voting for. Um, I kinda wanna make sure he doesn't vote for me. I have no idea who I'm gonna vote for. We got... 50 minutes until we vote. I have no idea. Like, nothing? Not an inkling. And I think that's probably the case for everybody. I think that it is in everybody else's best interest to keep me around. They autom they, like The whole narrative is that I'm the dumb kid. I'm the idiot. So I, they, they want to keep the dumb kid around. They want to get rid of the smart, strategic people. But that's exactly how I'm going to play. And they're going to play into my cards, is that I know that I'm a big brain. I think Dave put on this nice guy act, this persona where he's trying to play everyone, trying to be nice to everyone, grabbing me a water, making us all drinks, trying to talk to us one on one, and it's obvious, like cut the shit. He's clearly, he wants to backstab all of us and just make it to the end, and we could see right through it, so Dave's going to have to go home. Trista would be the easy out. I, you don't want to get rid of me because I'm the glue guy of the, of the roster. Like those guys want, don't want me to go out, so are they gonna vote Donnie out though? Are they gonna vote Za out? Kelly, she's eligible, is she gone? I don't know. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be tough. It's, it's, there's a lot of big decisions to be made today. All right, cheers. First of all, I mean, this will be the last time everyone's together, really, right? At some point, this is it for the whole group. So uh, you've all made it through the first uh, day or so. Um, so tonight will be the vote. All right, so Trista, at the moment you are on Easy Street, you won during the Bobbing for Nips challenge. Uh, you do have the option, though, to pass up your safety if you were so inclined. Do you want to do that, or you want to save it for yourself? I'm going to keep it for myself. You so. selfish bitch. Okay, so Trista is safe. She's rocking the jewelry. She's got the chain, and uh, she cannot be voted off tonight. The rest of you guys will be voting one member off, so... Uh, Brianna, were you worried at all about yourself being the rookie that maybe you didn't know? I was worried a little bit, but um, heard some chatter. I'm not too worried tonight. You think you're safe? I think so. Just chatter about people saying, I'm not voting off chicken fry? Just of others being voted off. Interesting. So you have not been mentioned, but you feel like... I could be, though. Do this you feel... be a big scheme. You, do you feel like you could confidently predict who gets voted off tonight? At what level of confidence? 50%, 75%, 100%? 75%. Confidence. 75% confidence that you know who's getting voted off. Do the rest of you feel confident? 
you had to guess right now, if you had to put your money where your mouth is, gun to your head, whatever you want to call it, and I, told, and I said to you, do you know who's getting voted off tonight? Who is it? Could you, could you guess them? Couldn't come close. Which uh, makes me think it's me. But it's kind of like rounders, you know? If you can't spot the sucker, you are. Maybe, True. maybe everyone's going, it's a fucking cowboy, get rid of him. I was completely confident that I was not going to get voted off tonight, and that makes me think that I might be goner. I would have said it had been a one in seven shot for everybody. No one has any better odds or any worse odds than anybody And now else. what are you feeling? One now I'm seven, getting a little nervous. Ten. Like, nerves are setting in that I might be gone. Donnie, you seem pretty com confident that you know what's going on here, you know, these people, but has anybody said anything or done anything that maybe has changed your mind about them or the game? I mean, I'm going to keep a lot of that close to the chest. Mm. But um, So I there are some things you're just not willing to say. I mean, a lot of people have been talking, but who really knows who to believe? All right, it's time to vote. Uh, one by one, you can file out to place your vote, and we'll reconvene here to read the names, and we'll find out which of you is going home to become the first jury member here on Surviving Barstool. Brianna, you want to set us off? Um, at the vote, I thought everyone was on the same page about voting cowboy, but when I said I was like kind of sure about it, no one spoke up. So I'm a little bit worried about this. Voting for Brianna Chicken Fry solely because she was the last person I saw. I don't hate anybody, I don't love anybody yet. Brianna, sorry, you're a victim of victim of circumstance right now. That's really all it is. All right, all votes are cast. We're gonna bring them out now. We will go one by one. Find out who. It's going yeah. home. <laughs> All right, I'll get the votes. All right, here are the votes. I'm going to count them up one by one. Uh, before that, though, if you have an idol, now is the time to play it. I will commence reading the votes. Vote number one, Cowboy. That's male handwriting. I will we'll remember this. <laughs> Vote number two, D with a slash through it, and then Kelly. Vote three, right now we have one for Cowboy, one for Kelly. Second vote for Cowboy. Sweating. More male handwriting. <laughs> cowboy has now become a handwriting specialist. <laughs> Two for Cowboy, one for Kelly. Third vote for White Sox Dave, AKA Cowboy. Male or female? It doesn't matter at this point, does it? Majority would be, on the table. a majority would be five. So you are over halfway there, Cowboy. I mean, quick it's trip, not little, little quick one day trip two. to New York for you, huh? Been there, done that. A fourth vote for the Cowboy, White Sox Dave. Four for Dave, one for Kelly. A vote for Brianna Chicken Fry. Hmm. Female, female. That looks like female hand, right? We have four for the Cowboy, White Sox Dave, one for Kelly Keegs, one for Brianna. A fifth vote for White Sox Dave. Dave, how do you feel about the fact that, I mean, almost virtually everyone of <clears throat> They conspired against me. I will be pulling footage from every which way to see who did it. and. You guys I mean, gotta start. First of all, what would that mean? They're allowed to do that. No, of, of course, but <laughs> someone is gonna be. Well, here's the thing. It's gonna be two people amongst you 
are big cowboy fans. Was one of these both yours? Me, uh, I would imagine. So one person here <laughs> is a cowboy. <laughs> Did you start to write your name to throw us off the wow, trail? Wow, Dave. <laughs> Just like that, huh? Maybe. Wow. It doesn't matter. I mean, the rest of you guys, you have a lot of ass kissing to do because when it's down to the final two and I have a stand, I will be playing mental warfare games with you. Giddy up, cowboy. Giddy up. All right, so let the mental warfare begin. You have, let's do it. What, five days or whatever left to uh, In this dog start. shit shithole of the city. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna show me a lawn a little more. <laughs> it is. You get to go to is... hotel now. Like, what are you complaining? Uh. This is one of the more embarrassing things that's ever happened in Barcelona history. <laughs> and uh, you can take that, you know, can put that on your resume. Hey, you got a cool nickname out of it. So uh, <laughs> here's what you should do. Go get your torch, your new Amsterdam vodka torch. Here you go, Brie. Extinguish it. <laughs> Pack your shit. And get Where's Trent at? <laughs> one last time, the cowboy signed out. I'm actually mildly offended. Cowboy, White Sox Dave, your ass has been voted off of surviving Barstool. <laughs> Pack your bag and get the fuck out. Nobody wants you here. Go ahead, go downstairs. Go downstairs? All right, yeah. I'll be at the bar. The single meanest thing I've ever seen anyone in the bar still do, the seven of you should be ashamed I wasn't of yourselves. Gonna, I wasn't going to vote for him. He's, you are dismissed. No, you are dismissed. You are all Is that you? horrible people. No. You're dismissed. I don't believe you. I promise. We'll see you tomorrow for another day of Surviving Barstool. Enjoy the new Amsterdam lounge, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we grow up. Just go think long and hard about what you did to that young man. Those degenerate illiterates upstairs are like, when Tristan won that fucking bobbin for nips thing, those fucking idiots were probably raising their hands to the heavens saying, thank God Dave doesn't got immunity, we can just vote that guy off, because he's the only real contender for the fucking belt. That's all that there is to it. They voted me off not because of anything other than the cowboy, the only one that's bringing any ounce of fucking, like, uh, entertainment or anything to the show, they want him out of here, which goes to show that they're not in it for the content game. They're just a bunch of greed fucking assholes. But a fucking first night, Donnie, he's on my shit list. Nick, he's on my shit list. Za, shit list. The only one that might not be is the one I voted for, Brianna Chicken Fry, because I don't think she voted for me. So, a lot of people got a lot of explaining to do. Cowboy out. Cowboy. He's, he's all over the place. You can't trust someone that's all over the place. Don't start beef with me. I never forget. Ever, ever, ever. I really wanted to vote for Dave. I just don't really see Dave as a threat. Sorry, cowboy. He made a joke earlier that was like, maybe it'll be you. Well, it's you now, Dave. I'm sorry. His uh, brash nature uh, is rubbing some people that I need on my side the wrong way. So yeah, he's, he's representing the fellows poorly. <laughs>